Hey everyone, so this is my gear packing list for my ultralight uh, camping trip up into the Catskills for the weekend. Um, decided to take a short trip up there. I'm not sure if I'm doing an overnight or a two-nighter, but I packed gear uh, enough for a two-night stay. And I'm just going to go through a quick breakdown of what I brought, what I'm packing, and uh, the bike that I'm going to pack it on. So. Let me just get down. That's a top view of what I'm bringing. Uh, we'll start from left to right. This is my camping gear. I have a Hindenburg Octo tent. It's a four season tent. Really light. Comes in a weight around like three pounds or so. Um, here I have my Thermarest Neo X light along with my um, camping light, a couple bungee cords, my, pop, my knife there, spork, air pump. That also has a CO2 cartridge extension. I bought two inner tubes, a couple of CO2 cartridges. I got a Pedro tire lever, a Park 2 lever, multi-tool with uh, several Allen keys in there, four, five, six. The main ones that you'd need to interchange your bike, fix some things up. Spoke wrench, patch kit, valve extension, and I also have a CO2 cartridge extension. Um, Toilet trees here, toothbrush, some uh, toilet paper. Um, what else do I have in here? That's my. Let's go down here. I got my camera, Rico GR. I use that to take some pictures. In terms of food, uh, I got some salmonella bread. Uh, this is about like a, a little more than a half loaf. I had a couple pieces last night with my pasta. And I'll just be bringing the whole thing, pack that up. It's pretty light. I have some trail mix right here. Get that in focus. A bunch of dates, a cliff bar, two bananas. I just brought two with me. Uh, they might go bad in the bag, but I can pick up bananas on the road while I'm riding, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to be hanging out in Woodstock anyway when I get there before I go up to the mountain and uh, find camp. So, in terms of the clothing, um, I got a fleece right here. It's a little puffy, but it's going to be going into my dry bag, so it should be able to compress pretty easily. I have my uh, Nano Puff jacket by Patagonia. Solid jacket, keeps me really warm. Uh, I got some base layers here. I got my thermal, that's for my, my legs. And that's uh, a nice functional sweater, the wick away sweat right there. I mean, uh, shirt. To hang around in town, I have this uh, polo shirt. And I have some really light shorts by Black Diamond. Really solid shorts. I love these. I have uh, a Gap Thermal uh, shirt. It's pretty warm for night. So I'll lay that over my base layer. And then I'll throw my uh, fleece over that with my Nano Puff jacket. And I have some leg warmers and arm warmers. I might be using the arm warmers while riding depending on how I feel. I brought uh, a balacava as well for sleeping at night. I'll share, you, I'll share with you why I'm doing that in a little bit. I also have um, a pair of Swiftwick shock socks that are really good socks, the compression. So I'll be riding with those. And I bought an extra pair of socks here just to um, wear around camp in my sneakers, which are ultra, I forgot which ones these are. Uh, the Instinct 3.5s by Ultra. Really solid shoe. Uh, I ran with it a couple times. I'm not a huge runner, but I've been trying to just do a, at least a, a one run a week or something like that with a friend of mine or by myself. And an extra pair of boxers. I just bought one since I'll be in my bib riding most of the time. When I get to camp, I'll just change out that. Another quick top view from what the gear looks like from above. So you can kind of get a, a nice uh, glimpse of it. And I would consider this uh, pretty light. I, would, I don't know if it's ultra light. Let me know what you think, um, and we'll go from there. Now, I'm not bringing a sleeping bag. Why? Uh, for one, I decided to get rid of it because um, I'm vegan now, and I just prefer not to use it. And I have enough gear in order for me to keep warm. For instance, the fleece would provide me with enough warmth that I can lay over my body. It's supposed to be around 55 degrees up there at night, so I'm not too worried about it. I've slept 
in the Sierra Mountains and uh, slept in the Rockies in Colorado without my sleeping bag uh, during a cross country trip in 2014. Uh, it got a little chilly. I mean, it was much colder at night over there, but um, and I was also way higher. I was around like uh, somewhere in the neighborhood around like six to 11,000 feet in some areas. So uh, not, not too much complaints. Honestly, it um, is a really lightweight. The bag is gonna really take off a lot of weight. So I'm not too concerned about it. I got my thermals and um, base layers and stuff like that. My Nano Puff jacket will provide me with enough heat to keep warm. And uh, yeah, that's that. So the sleeping bag that I have is a 650 fill power goose, uh, sorry, duck fill. And um, I got rid of it. I'm gonna go synthetic, the synthetic route. So I'm looking to get in the sleeping bag. Uh, leave some comments if you have any suggestions. I was looking at the enlightened equipment stuff lately. And uh, just sort of uh, go more of the sustainable route in terms of the gear. So I mean, things are definitely changing in terms of the gear. With the Nano Puff jacket, it's great, it's synthetic. Uh, packs up really small too. And it's by, it's by Patagonia, this particular model. And you can stuff it in, stuff it inside out, right into the pocket. And uh, all synthetic, no goose, really, really warm. So uh, I'm gonna go with that. In terms of what I'm packing it into, I picked up these Revelate design um, bags. Revelate design bags. Uh, this is the frame bag here. That goes. I got the small one to go across my uh, top tube, and. Um, Packs up really nice. I got my uh, tent poles in here, which is really cool. So I can strap that to the inside of the bag. That's really neat. On the other side, I'm going to be putting my um, inner tubes and stuff in there, which is pretty sweet. I got the Viscacha, or correct me if I'm wrong, Viscacci, Viscacha bag by Relevant Design. This is a really solid bag. I tried it out before. I'm gonna be uh, packing my stuff in here. I went with this colorway. I thought it was pretty different, and just kind of mix, mismatch, mix and match some of the colorways up on my bike. Since my bike is all like matte black, I decided to just kind of give it a little bit more pop, and um, you know, add some some sort of uh, sandy colors to it here with this military style camouflage print. And I also have a gas tank which I'll be storing some of my other materials in here like cell phone, wallet, and uh, camera. So, pretty cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, cool, Sour Patch Kids. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep that in there. Might come in handy. Um, I have some Sea to Summit dry bags. These are going to house my clothes and tent. This one I'm going to use for my clothes. It's a little bit smaller. And I'll stuff that in the rear saddlebag, along with my Nano Puff jacket. So the clothes will be going in the rear. And in the front, I'm gonna house my Hilleberg Octo tent. Uh, the poles are in here, so I don't have to worry about the space. The tent folds up really nice, and it's really, really lightweight, so I'm gonna have that mounted to the front of my handlebar. I didn't get the harness by Revelate Designs, uh, because I, this sort of works pretty well. So right now, I'm gonna try it out. And if I do need to get the harness, I will. But right now, I mean, I went for a ride. I did like 15 miles with it fully loaded with all the bags on there and everything, and it was fine. And in terms of the bike, I'm going to be using my racing bike and the bike I train on. This is my road bike. It's my FM 296. I don't know if you checked the review out that I did with this bike, but um, I'll put that um, in the link here in a note. You can just click on it and check out the video. But this is a bike that I'm using. Full carbon road and um, wheels and everything by Boyd Cycling. These are the 27 uh, with clinchers. I got an Altegra group set. Uh, 2811 cassette with a compact 5034 chain ring. So, really solid setup. And uh, I'm going to pack all this stuff up and just show you guys what it all looks like with it on the bike. Alright, so this is what it looks like with everything uh, strapped on. I'm fully packed here. I got uh, all my gear in all of its compartments. My um, tent and my sleeping pad is in the front. Handlebar that I strapped on, it's in a dry bag. That's by uh, Sea to Summit. And um, 
Really good setup. I have plenty of clearance actually. You can see there from the brake uh, caliper to the wheel. So I, I shouldn't get any rubbing there. I strapped all the way the um, straps so that they won't uh, drag or pull anything. So that's good to go. I put a bungee cord on the top end part of my handlebar. I couldn't find my extra uh, strap. So this will do. I have an extra cord just in case that uh, fails or anything. GoPro mount in the front on my stem, Garmin, I got my gas tank, that's going to hold my camera, wallet, uh, keys, any other perf paraphernalia that uh, I can put in there, cliff bar, maybe a little bit of candy. In this end, I have my tent poles, let me just open it real fast, you can see, I have my tent poles in here with my pump and everything, you can see the tent pole bag, it's green. I actually put a folding tire in here too, just in case I get an explosion or anything. I don't want uh, my tires to fail. I didn't get new tires, I'm just riding on what I have. These are um, my actual, my race tires actually, by Specialized um, S-Works. These are 24 wide, so we'll see how that goes. Um, they, they're very prone to flats too, but I got some tubes and I have a repair kit, so I should be good. Rear saddle bag that houses my jacket, clothes, and I also have my loaf of bread that you saw in there. And um, on the other side, I'm not going to open it up. You know what? Let's try to do that. I'm just like on the other side of the camera. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can brighten up a bit. I'm just getting the focus. In here, I have my tubes, my multi-tool as well which you can see I got my patch kit and what else do I have in here I got my spork so that's that's what's gonna house that I got my tire levers as well up in here These are pretty good tire levers by Pedro and that is that so uh, I got plenty of space for my water bottles when I put those on it might rub the bag just a little bit on the top but I'm not too worried about it. If I need to just drink some water. I, you know, it probably would have been a better idea to get one of the other bags where you can house it on your handlebar. And then just uh, put your bottle in there. Because um, I hate stopping for water. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep a bottle in my jersey pocket. Or just hydrate before I go ride. Which is uh, what I typically do. And I'll usually sip while riding too. But we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is the setup here. Put your comments below. This is a great way to take off, man. This is my road bike, my race bike. I train with it. Um, I commute with it sometimes, but I'm really digging this setup. I wouldn't say it's ultra light. I don't know the weight of it. I didn't weigh it, but um, it's pretty light, way lighter than my setup, my own Surly, my long haul trucker. But I wanted to try this out and see if I can get to locations faster, lighter. I think the only issue of what I'm gonna have with this bike is um, bringing it up to the mountain to go camp so uh, I'll have to walk it up I mean we'll see you know it takes about uh, a couple of hours to hike to the summit so um, we'll see how that goes <laughs> but other than that subscribe leave your comments below let me know what you think share with me your setup too I'd love to see and check out what you got but um, I'm pretty much uh, racked here ready to roll so catch you guys on the road